Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of ABAP programming. And our new topic is classical reports. Before we understand the meaning of classical reports, firstly, we will understand what is a report. Report is a program. Yes, or we can say reports are programs. We need to create programs. So what reports will do? They will read the data from the database. Yes, based upon your input, they will read the data from the database. We will process that data and we will display that data in the required format. So reports are the programs. With the help of those programs, we will read the data from the database. We will process the data and we will display the data in the required format. Now, every, every report has two screens. It consists of two screens. What is first screen? First screen is called as selection screen or input screen. And the second screen is called as output screen. Now, up to this level, we know very well now what is selection screen or input screen and what is output screen. Suppose if I am running the program, suppose if I am running this program, this screen is called as input screen or we can say this screen is called as selection screen because with the help of this screen, you are providing the input. Whenever you will provide the input, Based upon this input, we will read the data from the database. We will process that data and we will display that data. So whenever I will execute, whenever I will click on to this execute button, this is the output. This is the output. And this output is on which particular screen? Output screen. So every, every report consists of two screens. One is selection screen or input screen and one is called as output screen. Now, sometimes selection screen or input screen is optional. Suppose simple example, I want to display all the data. So in that case, we are not going for any input. But yes, output will always, always be there. So selection screen or input screen is optional, but output screen is not optional. Output is always, always there. Now, what is classical report? What is classical report? Simple. They are the most, most basic reports. They are the most basic ABAP reports in which you are displaying the output using which particular statement, right statement. So if someone asks you what is classical report, the simple answer. Whenever we are displaying the output using right statement, those are called as classical reports. In the future, we have the topic ALV reports also. At that time, we will not display the output using right statement. So whenever you are displaying the output using right statement, those are called as classical reports. Now, what we will do, we will start with a very, very basic program. We will make sum of two numbers. This program we already covered when we started the ABAP programming. But at that time, there was no selection screen. There was no input screen. We simply gave the default value 10, 20, and the result is always 30. Now, this is not the case. Now we know what is selection screen or what is input screen. We will give the input and based upon the input, the output will come. So what we will do, we'll start with a first basic program we will make sum of two numbers. So I will go to SC38 transaction code. This program we already developed previously also. 
but at that time there was no input provision there was no selection screen provision so what i will do we all know the first name should start with z i'm saying z p r g 1 sum of two numbers we all know the first word first letter should be z or y I will go for create. I will give the title to the program. Suppose sum of two numbers. I will choose the type as executable program because we will execute the program. And I will save it as a local object. We all know in the executable program, the first word is report. Now, we need to give the input now. We need to give the input. You all know very well, we have two ways to give the input. One is parameter and another one is select option. Now, parameter accept single value. Select option is for multiple input or range of values. As of now, what is our requirement? We will make sum of two numbers. So it means we will create how many parameters? We will take two parameters. So what is the keyword to declare a parameter? Parameters. Now, we all should follow the best, best practices. And the name should start with P underscore. A good programmer always follows the best practices. Suppose I am writing P underscore input one. You can give any name. I am writing type. Type is a keyword. I am writing num C two, and I am putting dot. It means my the line has been ended. Now you all know very well. This is the best way to declare a particular thing. This is a data element. This data element has a domain. Domain of what? Numeric to. It means this particular P underscore input one is of numeric type. It has a length of two. Now I will declare another parameters. Another parameter I'm writing p underscore input to type num c two. I will apply pretty printer. So our two inputs are ready. I will go to activate button. I am running the program. And you can see our input is ready. This is our input screen or selection screen. But end user will never, never understand this. Customer will never understand this. It means we need to give the selection text. How to give selection text? We'll go for go to text element selection text. And I will write first input. And I will go for second input. Never, never forgot to activate this. Now we will go for execute. So our input is ready. Our input is ready. Now we need to write the logic and we need to display the output. So what we will do, I will declare a output variable which will store the output. So how to declare a output variable using data? You all know very well. I am writing LV underscore output type. I am writing numc3. Best way we are using. What is numc3? It is a data element which has a domain of numeric 3. It means LV underscore output is of numeric type. It has a length of 3. Now we will write the logic. What is the name of output variable? LV underscore output 
is equal to what is the name of first parameter p underscore input one plus because we are making sum what is the name of second parameter p underscore input two and i am putting dot we all know that values will always always pass from right to left so suppose you are giving 10 20 so 10 plus 20 will be 30 and result will assign to which particular variable lb underscore output now you all know how to display the output using write statement so i am writing write lv underscore same to same program we did previously also but at that time we don't know that how to give input because ultimately user will give the input based upon the input the output should come i'll check the syntax and i will activate now for the best understanding i will show you in the debugging mode I'll put a breakpoint. I will run. Suppose I am giving 20 and 10. With the help of this screen, I gave the input. So this is called as input screen or selection screen. Now, whenever I will go to execute button, desktop 3 most preferable desktop. So what is our input 1? We gave 20. What is input to 10? LV underscore output is blank as of now. It is blank as of now. So whenever I will execute this line, 20 plus 10 will become 30. I am doing F6. And you can see LV underscore output is 30. And we are displaying the output. So this is our output. So what we studied in this particular video we studied what is a report. Simple a report is which will read data from the database, process the data and display the data. We all know now that every report has two screens. One is selection screen and one is output screen. Selection screen is optional. If you want to display everything, it means you will not give the input, only output will come. But output is always, always there on the output screen. Then we studied that classical reports are the most, most, most basic reports in which you display the output using write statement. And we started with the first very basic program, how to make sum of two numbers. Then in that case, we took the input from the user single input from the user and we all know whenever we want a single input we need to pass with the help of parameters so we took two parameter we assign the result to one variable and we displayed the output in the next video we will start with the real classical reports in which we will fetch data from the tables and we will display the output so that's it in this video. Thank you.